Considered one of the best high school players out of Chicago, Jabari Parker returns to a familiar place for a new chapter in his basketball journey. It's a homecoming, and at least for a day, Jabari Parker is king. Met with open arms by the Chicago Bulls after parting ways with the Milwaukee Bucks as an unrestricted free agent, Parker quickly found a home in a city that influenced his game. Now, today's introductory press conference is more like a welcome home celebration for the 23-year-old Parker and his family. First and foremost, I want to thank God, you know, for giving me this opportunity, especially coming back home. No better way to live my dream as a kid by playing down the street from where I grew up, the James, Borden, the, the James Jordan Boys and Girls Club. So very fortunate for that blessing. And um, thank you for the Bulls organization for taking a chance on me. And I'm going to do my best to fulfill their wishes. This is Jabari's day, so just a few quick comments. Uh, this is an exciting day for the Bulls organization, and we view this as a very important signing uh, for, for uh, our franchise. And we feel this signing fits perfectly into the direction we chose. We're adding another young, talented player to our roster, uh, someone with great versatility, um, someone who, who is very skilled in terms of passing, handling, can play in a, in a team system offense. So it, it's exciting for us to add to the, to the current young guys that we have. We're just thrilled uh, to have Jabari joining us. And, you know, obviously uh, we have followed him closely really throughout his career uh, as, a, as a legend here at Simeon High School. Um, we would read about him and, and, and see him on the news all the time, uh, followed him closely at Duke. Uh, and scouted him extensively there. And then being so close in Milwaukee, obviously we got to see him play quite a bit. But we feel like even though we haven't had him, that we know him. And uh, on top of his, his basketball skills and his tools, uh, which we think uh, he's got great, great potential to, for continued growth, everybody we talked to uh, talked about his work ethic, his makeup, his character, that him being the type of guy that, that we want to build with this young core. What does it mean to you to come home? Uh, it means a lot. It means the most, especially when that red, that white, that black <laughs> is, is something like a dream because playing here, you always dreamed about being a bull. So that's um, a dream come true. How, how would you describe the pressure of playing in Chicago where you're playing in front of fans who really expect a lot? And fans expect a lot from, from Chicago players, and especially people from here. Right. Uh, I don't look at it as a lot of pressure. Just looking forward to building new memories, especially with the young core that we have. And I was in a similar situation not long ago when we had a, um, a guy, Greg Monroe, coming into our, our organization. And we had high hopes and aspirations, but we kind of fell short. We um, didn't meet the means that was projected. And that's kind of the ability that I, I want to I want to just have the to to have short you know limited goals and, and just to take it game by game with the young core that we have. There's no better way to start off with a team that you can grow with especially being so young guys that's my age. We can see each other build memories and that's what I'm looking forward to. You look at it as washing away Milwaukee and everything that happened and just starting from scratch here. No, I don't I don't want to forget all the hard work that I had because to forget that I hurt myself and came back is to discredit a lot of my success because that's in and of itself something outside of the norm. Like nobody does that. So I want to always remember the setbacks and the failures that I've had in my career so far and just use that as a sense of motivation. As, as far as Milwaukee goes, I give them all the praise for, you know, having the patience with me and also developing me and helping me through my, my injuries especially the medical staff. They did a tremendous job helping me bounce back and putting together a plan. And I owe it to them, you know, my trainer, uh, Suki and Mike Davey and, um, you know, Troy Flanagan, they really helped a big time in my career. So I credit them. How does it feel to come to a team that's got a bunch of young warriors such as Wendell Carter Jr., Zach Levine, Laurie Markkinen? How does that make you feel being part of this team now? Uh, being a part of this, this team and a new, this new unit, is, is something I, like, I admire just because we're the same age. We're going to build friendships on and off the court, and that's what it's about. Once we go, grow closer, we, we get better as a team. But as a Bulls fan, what did you think of kind of the rise and fall, like what happened with Derek and, and seeing how 
high he went and then kind of how low things got. How, how did you look at it from afar? I mean, Derek had no lows. He didn't because he still maintained. And, uh, you know, Derek is a legend no matter what. No, no rise and falls. Injuries is a part of life. Everybody has an injury, you know, either athletics or normal life. But Derek is, you know, he's one of the best players to ever play the game and one of the best icons in Chicago. So he accomplished his duty already. Cameron Smith, Comcast CM100 Sports. Jabari, have you uh, played the or thought about the significance of you uh, being a Chicago Bull, both on and off the court, especially with the uh, community involvement and how you are involved in community and social uh, injustice issues. Have you played uh, that, those scenarios in your mind and maybe you have you know, thought about what your impact will be uh, off the court as well in the city? Yeah, I'm just as excited to participate in the, in the community just as much as playing the game. Obviously, like this is my passion, but other things matter to me too, and that's helping, especially where I come from. So. I hope that I can partner with the public schools like I did in Milwaukee to Chicago and, and be involved with the youth. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can with my free time. Obviously, this is a, a huge day, uh, not only for Jabari, but also the Bulls organization. Uh, when you guys kind of got closer and, and knew that this deal was going to be done, uh, what did that do for you? Did you start to go into planning mode and seeing, obviously, how he would fit in the offense and how we would pair with Levine and marketing? I wrote about 30 plays on, our, on my board yesterday on different things that we feel that we can do, whether he's playing the three or playing the four. Uh, we feel he is a versatile player that can play both forward positions. The thing I'm most excited about is his ability to get out and run and play in transition. And, you know, that's when I thought he was at his best uh, in his first few years in the league is when he was able to get out, they were throwing ahead. He was able to attack and finish with authority. Uh, the other thing that I'm excited about, you just look at the progression of his uh, perimeter numbers. He shot a career high 30, over 38% from three last year. Uh, and, you know, again, he's, he's a guy that sh should be a player that fits into how we want to play is with, with speed and pace. All right, Rob, um, obviously this day is special for so many people, especially for you, for one of the greatest players that you've ever coached uh, at Sony. I'm returning home to play for the Bulls. Uh, what was that moment like for you when you realized that this was going to be official, that this was going to happen? Uh, I mean, it was great. You know, uh, so it's like you said, just a dream come true, you know, for these guys to be able to come back home. First Derek mm -hmm. and now Jabari to be at home playing in front of his fans and family. You know, every day, and you know, like he said, you know, I'll be around more. Yeah. You know, so that that's just great. You know, I'm so proud of him on how hard he worked to get back. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've been telling people, uh, the sky's still a limit for him. There's no word to describe it other mm -hmm. than, you know, it's just wonderful. Um, and like Jabari said, for the Bulls to take a chance on him yeah. is just refreshing. And so we're just happy to be here. Yeah. And home is always home, yeah, so yeah. makes it even, you know, a little sweeter for yeah. us.